<clears throat> all right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, All right, double honor to the elders and apostles of our Grand Millstone, who are the true elders and apostles of all Israel. This is Brother Yahweh Sap with another lesson. Uh, and basically, man, uh, I just wanted to go into this article a brother had posted in the chat. It's called, uh, as you can see from the title, World Economic Forum Rational Reasons to Microchip Kids. All right, so these Edomites, the, the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite, all right, those elites are are uh, targeting your children, man. All right, and, th and that's nothing new. You know, anytime they sacked a sacked a city or sacked sacked a place from from Israel or or any any place, they would always go after the women and the children, man. All right, you can find that all throughout history, and it's the same thing going on today. All right, they're they're talking about uh, chipping your kids. All right, which is gonna allow people. Or ease people into taking the chip, man. All right, and this is all part of it, part of his gradualism, his master plan. All right, or his master scheme, should I call it? All right, <clears throat> this is all part of it. But something that caught my eye while I was reading, well, while I was reading this article, was a uh, was a uh, down here, and pretty much what it said, which I'm going to read it, but pretty much what it said uh, was, was, is it worth it? You know, in, in uh, lack of better words, <laughs> is it worth it? And the answer is no, the end, it, it's not worth it. All right, because we're going to get into the judgment of those who take the chip. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read it a little bit. All right, so it says here, implanting uh, tracking chips in one's children is the latest policy for the war, uh, the latest policy the World Economic Forum has rolled out in an apparent attempt to normalize the behavior. That's right. They're trying to normalize this behavior. So it's it's already seen as weird to want to track you to to want to track yourself, let alone your children. All right, but they're doing it to normalize it. All right, and that was at Revelation 12 and 12. It says, should you implant a tracking chip in your child? A blog post from the WEF asks, there are solid rational reasons for it, like safety. What would you, would you actually do it? <laughs> is it a bridge too far? And the answer is yes, it is a bridge too far. You're not, you're not supposed to take the chip. And anyone who takes that MOTB, all right, is going to get, is going to get thrust through, is going to be destroyed whenever Babylon is finally taken down, aka America, according to the scriptures. All right. It says the organization is suggesting such a ph phenomenon is an inev inevitability. And so Esau will use big words like that, phenomenon, inevitability, stuff like that. He'll use these bud buzzwords to trick people into thinking, oh, you know what? Well, it's going to happen anyways. Might as well do it now. Might as well, if it's going to if it's going to happen anyways. Might as well. And that's how Esau has it, man. YOLO, that YOLO, that YOLO spirit. All right. Matter of fact, just just before I, I begin. Uh, fully, I want to uh, get this quick precept, man. It keeps coming out, but I want to get it. It says, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2 and verse 1. For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not a right. Our life is short and tedious, and in the death of man there is no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. For we are for we are born at all adventure, and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. For the breath in our nostrils is as smoke, and the little spark in the moving of our heart, which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as a soft air. So if you don't know what it's saying here, pretty much is what it what the, what it says in the beginning. The ungodly sins. So those without God said reasoning with themselves. So they're in, the, in their minds, in their conscience, but not a right meaning, not on the right path, not using wisdom, says our life is short and tedious. And that's the same thing that you have going on today. These people, they reason with them themselves and they they commit these acts of, uh, of wickedness, especially our people, the so-called Negro, Latino and Native American. They they tell these things within themselves to push them over the edge to continue to commit that wickedness, all right? And so the point, uh, I'm going to jump down to verse 6 to the point, man. It says, come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present and let us speedily use the creatures like is in youth. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ornaments and let no flower of the spring pass by us. Let us crown ourselves with ro rosebuds before they be withered. Let none of us go without his part of our vol volup. It's lucky I can't pronounce that voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place, for this is our portion and our lot is this. So therefore, they they do these things because in themselves, well, it's going to happen anyways. Might as well do it now. 
And that's a mindset that the majority of these people in because that's a mindset of a wicked man, which that wicked man is currently ruling the earth whose name is Esau, Edom, the nation of Edom. All right. And I want to get that that uh, word voluptuousness. So like I'm butchering that word. All right. Of or pertaining to desires or appetites. Full of pleasures, pleasure, delightful, pleasure, delight, enjoyment. So they're given over to their pleasures. So let's read it again now that we have that further understanding. Let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness, which is the pleasures. So they're given over to their pleasures. All right. So jumping back into it, it says the organization is suggesting such a phenomenon is an inevitability. In 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 with the right support, vision, and audacity, these transformative technologies that go beyond augmentation become possible. So Esau's telling you right in his face what he's planning to do. All right. And so it says, here it is, as scary as chip implants may sound, they form a part of natural evolution that wearables once underwent. And so he so he goes to use examples to further ease your mind into it. Hearing aids or glasses no longer carry a stigma. The block the blog post ads, they are accessories and are even considered a fashion item. Likewise, e implants will evolve into a commodity. So he's what he's doing here is he's easing these people, whoever reads it, he's pretty much easing their mind into being okay with taking that chip. All right? And so that's that's what he's wanting to do. All right. And so the point was, should you know, or there are solid rational reasons for it, like safety. Would you actually do it is a bridge too far. And so pretty much. All right. He's he's pretty much saying, well, why not do it? This is just like serp even serpent in the garden, man. You know, thou shalt thou shall not surely die. But the most High said what? So now from here, let's get Revelation chapter 14. <clears throat> all right. And uh, verse Khan, this is a uh, revelation 14 and verse nine. And it says, and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. So it's pure anger. It's no other emotion, nothing else within that. Just pure anger is what is going to be poured out upon this place. And that's what you're going to be partaking of if you take that mark. All right. And it says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. So you're going to be destroyed in front of everybody. <laughs> you're going to be judged in front of everybody, man. All right. The Lord is going to completely and utterly desolate you if you take that chip. Because ultimately that, 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 that chip, that MOTB, all right is is uh, uh pretty much allowing Esau to nut in you man he it's pretty much allowing your soul and his soul to to mix and that's a no-no with the heavenly father all right but pertaining to Isaiah 1 and 9 the Lord had left us that left us that small remnant all right and so from there because Esau, Esau is going to be taken down and nothing is going to be able to save him man all right not no chip not no NWO Okay, not no, not no, uh, uh, God, God particle, not no other dimension. He ain't gonna be able to fly to Mars, man. All right, he's not gonna be able to do anything. He's not gonna be able to escape because the heavenly Father had purposed this place to be destroyed. All right, and so this is Isaiah forty-seven and verse eight. Therefore, hear now this: Thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. That's right. He 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 sets his throne. In the heavens where the most high is or tries to and it says i shall not sit as a widow neither shall i know the loss of children so this this place all right is boasting against the heavenly father which if you don't know who, what this place is uh this place is babylon and you can read it for that further up all right and it says neither shall i know the loss of children but these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day the loss of children and widowhood so that happiness that mirth all right the joy of, of your offspring, all that is going to be taken away. And it says, they shall come upon thee in their perfection with for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. All right, now let's get that word sorcery. And let's see what that means. Source, it's like you, sor, 
sorcery, witchcraft, magic, enchantment, act of instance or sorcery, supernatural state of affairs, seemingly magic works, sorcerer, wizard, literally one who influences fate or fortune, lot, fate or fortune. Yeah, that's I mean, that's what Esau is. All right. He's standing here with the with his sorceries. And the great abundance of his enchantments blinding these people, all right, programming them to, through the TV, through the black mirror you call a phone, okay? He's doing all this through his enchantments. Therefore, what did the, what did the Most High say? Verse 10, for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, none seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. That's right, you thought you were too good to be seen. Therefore, you've been putting everything out on wax, telling the world... Telling the world your 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 great scheme, thinking that it was going to have none effect on it, man. All right. But guess what? The prophets are being raised back up. They're preaching the names Yahweh, while Yahweh shy. They're repenting and turning back unto the Heavenly Father. All right. And now are we near the end of your kingdom? For you have trusted in your wickedness. Let's get that. Let's get that. Wickedness. That's it. Uh, so rock 19 and 22. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. That's right. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. You trusted in your wickedness thinking it was wisdom, thinking it was knowledge. When really you were leading your yourself into the pit, man. You're leading yourself. You you broke the that chain, man. You, you had your renaissance period, man. All right, you came back and you built up America. And you're throwing it right back into the garbage where it belongs, ultimately, because look at this place, man. It's full of wickedness. You have trannies teaching your children what gender is. All right. You have school shootings, mass shootings everywhere, man. All right. You have riots of the people. The government is in shambles. All right. You have you have a, a, a someone who is a, has dementia. <laughs> All right. It, as your leader. OK. Because what? Because you trusted in your wickedness. You think. Yo, this is inevitable. It's going to happen. And you're right. You know, you're going to chip some people, but you're not going to chip the right people. All right. So it says, therefore, Isaiah 47 and 11, therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. And this is for anyone who takes that, that, that MOTB, man. For anyone who agrees with Esau and his wickedness, this is a judgment that is going to come upon you as well. So it says, verse 12, Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest be able to prevail. Thou mayest prevail. So like you. All right. So, man, you have all these enchantments, all these sorceries that you've cast upon the people. All right. The MOTB that you're you're looking to implement, all right. The the uh, 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 Crown Nineteen, you 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 let out, man. That plague, then then the medicine that you gave out with it, <laughs> okay. All these enchantments and for what? All for not because the Heavenly Father is not with this place. The Heavenly Father is against this place. So He's telling you now, stand now without enchantments. If so be thou shalt be able to profit. If so be thou mayest prevail. So keep using your wizardry, man. Keep using your sorcery, your enchantments. Keep using that black magic thinking that it's going to save you, man. All right. Verse 13. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prog prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. That's right. Let all your astrologers, those who go and dig up the graves, man, those who, who find out the stars, all right, let those who are in the pharmaceutical business with all the, the medicines, all right, let all your, your enchanters and your sorcerers come up to you and save you from the Heavenly Father's judgment, man, all right? Let them save you from the coming destruction. Verse 14, behold, they shall be as stubble, the fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm it, nor fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee, whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander every one to his quarter. None shall save thee. So even though you say you're doing all this good, 
<laughs> around the world, none of, none of the people who you've been trading with, who you've been making these deals with, all right, who, who you've given nukes to, they're not going to save you. They're going to be part of your destruction. And everyone that sees you is going to hiss at you and say, is this the man? Because before before you were so-called helping everyone, what were you going around doing, man? You were being a demon, man. You were being a devil. Going around taking things that were not yours, oppressing a man in his heritage. All right. And now you have the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans uh, in agreement with you. All right. Especially Eve, man. Especially the women of our people. They in agreement with you heavily. Therefore, now the Lord said, hey. Get get all get all your enchantments, all your black magic, and see if it can save you. That MOTB is not going to save you, man. The chip is not going to save you. All right? It's not going to be some fashion statement like glasses. It's not going to be some fashion statement like necklaces or, or, or slides. All right? It's judgment. It, you're putting a, a, a literal... Judgment seed inside of your body if you take that chip, man. And all that, all, all it will be waiting for is to sprout. And once it sprout, you're going to wish you never had it, man. <laughs> all right. The Lord is not playing with you people. You keep thinking the Lord is playing and he's not. The Lord is going to destroy you people. And any of you who agree with that article, man. All right. And so one last precept, man. It's going to be the book of Jeremiah 51. All right. And uh, I'm going to jump down. To. Just read it. Salakia. Con. Jeremiah 51 and verse 47. Therefore behold the days come. That I would do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon. Which. Which. Uh. Uh. The MOTB is an image. It's an image of the beast, man. All right. And it says, and her whole land shall be confounded and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Then the heaven and the earth and all that there is that is therein shall sing for Babylon. For the spoiler shall come unto her from the north, saith Yahweh. As Babylon hath caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. That's right. So because you did evil unto our people, therefore the Most High is going to uh, bring evil upon you, man. All right. Spoilers shall come up, uh, come unto her from the north. That's talking about these other heathen nations, man. All right. Specifically, Gog and Mega. All right. The, the so-called Russians. All right. And the Most High, the Most High is not playing, man. <laughs> all right. So you either buckle down and get 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 right or you continue to be be loose and give over to your pleasures and be destroyed in a horrible death. All right. So with that being said, man, I pray this lesson was edifying. And once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, All right, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone, who are the true elders and apostles of all Israel. Until the next time I say, Shalom.